Hello folks, welcome to this video on the ATP PC system. Right, okay, what are we talking about here? We're talking about energy production. How does the body produce energy to contract our muscles? That is what we are talking about. And the substance that we are talking about is this one here. It is ATP or adenosine triphosphate. Here's a little diagram of it. What is it? It's one molecule of adenosine, okay? And tri, as in three, triangle has three angles, phosphates, one, two, three, sticking on the end of them, okay? Right, where does energy for muscular contractions come from? It comes from this happening. We've got ATP, we've got an A, one, two, three Ps attached onto it. I've just done, obviously, because I'm daft, I've done the revert, I've done the diagram in the opposite direction here, but you get the gist of it. What's going to happen is one of the Ps, one of the phosphates, is going to break off, okay, on its own, and that is going to release energy. And that energy is used to power the muscles. Okay? So, in essence, what am I trying to say? We've got this substance called adenosine triphosphate in our muscles. Every time you want to contract a muscle, you need to produce energy. So what are you going to do? This ATP is going to split one of the phosphates. That third phosphate there is going to split off. That's going to release energy. And that energy is going to use, be used by the muscles to power them to produce contractions. Okay? Everything's great. Apart from this one key fact. I'm going to write it in red to emphasize the fact that it is very important. We only have enough ATP for two seconds of contractions. So how can you then continue to contract muscles for longer than two seconds? Well, what we use is we use three energy systems. Now, these three energy systems produce energy to rebuild that so I can break it down again. And then they will rebuild that so I can break it down again, rebuild that and so on and so forth. Basically, what I'm trying to say is this. Every two seconds of your life, you have broken this substance down and rebuilt it again straight away. And you've done that every two seconds that you've been alive, okay? And the energy used to stick that phosphate that's out there on its own back onto there to remake that comes from three energy systems. And the first one we're going to look at is the PC system, also known as the ATP PC system. Okay, so as well as ATP being in our muscles, we also have another substance in our muscles called phosphocreatine or creatine phosphate. Those of you that have maybe taken creatine powder have been taking high levels of phosphocreatine to boost this energy system. Those people who take creatine powder are interested in putting muscle mass on, interested in recovering quicker in between sprints and reps and sets and things like that. And hopefully by the time I've explained this, you'll see why those type of athletes take creatine powder, okay? As we've said, we only have enough ATP in our muscles. Whoops, try that one again. We only have enough ATP in our muscles for two seconds worth of contractions. So what if I want to do something like a 100 meter sprint? Two seconds is going to get me 10 meters in the race. How am I producing energy for the remaining 80 or 90 meters? Well, I'm using this other substance called PC or phosphocreatine. Phosphocreatine, that will split, indicated by this arrow, into P and C. One molecule of phosphate, one molecule of creatine, and it will also release energy itself okay and as you can see from this diagram up here look this diagram that i've got off uh, the old internet what you've got is you've got a molecule of phosphocreatine pc they've put pcr you don't have to put pci you can just put pc that has then split into creatine and they've put p1 or pi phosphate and they've put free energy we've just put energy doesn't matter now that energy is then used to rebuild the ATP. And it does that every two seconds. So, let's take a 100 meter race. The gun goes bang, you burst out the blocks. 
two seconds into that race, you are all out of ATP. You have got none left at all. So how are you getting to that finish line? You are then going to split this phosphocreatine down into creatine and phosphate. It's going to release energy, and that energy is going to rebuild that ATP straight away so that you can break it down again. And it's going to do that for an amount of time. Now, the downside is the PC can only last for 8 to 10 seconds itself. You only have enough phosphocreatine for 8 to 10 seconds worth of work. Hence why people take creatine powder, because they're trying to make this system last a little bit longer, maybe 12 seconds of work, something like that. The other thing that you need to know about the PC system, it only works when we are working maximally, flat out, also known as anaerobic. We haven't got time to use oxygen. So that's what we need to know about the PC system. It's an energy system that can produce energy for 8 to 10 seconds when we are working maximally in anaerobic. And all the energy it produces is used to rebuild this ATP substance that's in our muscles. I should say, ATP, it's not in any food. It's not in any drink. It's not in any tablets that you can take. The amount of ATP you've got in your muscles is fixed. So we can't take more to make it last four, six, eight, ten seconds, something like that. We've, we've got what we've got and we have to make do with it. What we've got to do is resynthesize it as quick as we can, remake it as quick as we can. Think of ATP as a rechargeable battery. Every time it's down on power, you stick it back in the socket to recharge it. That's what you're doing with the PC system. You're producing energy to recharge, to resynthesize ATP. Okay? So, which athletes are going to use the PC system most? Well, it's going to be people like this. What do both these events have in common, for example, right? They are both maximal. You work flat out. Okay, that's point number one, otherwise known as anaerobic. Okay, they are both, oh sorry, they both last, and here's the key, I said the PC system lasts up to 8 to 10 seconds, absolutely right, but what can we say about both these, they both last up to 10 seconds, so they'll both use the PC system as an end shot. This one, Valerie Adams in the shot put, air event lasts three or four seconds, but it's less than 10 and it's flat out. And the PC system works up to 10 seconds. It doesn't have to work for 10 seconds. It can work for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But the 100 metres, Usain Bolt doing it in nine and a bit seconds. He's a prime example of someone who'll use the PC system because he's working flat out and he's working for up to 10 seconds. Okay. One final thing about the PC system that you need to know. Okay, and uh, I'll put it in a different colour. Right, when you've used it, and when you've used it fully, when you've worked for 10 seconds, let's take Usain Bolt now, he's worked 10 seconds flat out. Okay, all of the PC stores in his muscle have now gone as well. They've gone. For them to rebuild themselves, those molecules of phosphocreatine, takes two, whoops, takes... Two to three minutes. To recover the PC system. In other words, if Usain Bolt does 100 metres flat out in just under 10 seconds, he won't be able to use his PC system again for at least two minutes, probably three minutes. Where do we see that? All of you go to the gym and lift heavy weights. You'll do a set of 10, so you'll work maximally, and it'll take you about 10 seconds to do a set of 10, then what will you give yourself? Probably two minutes to recover before you do your next set of 10, and then two minutes off for your next set of 10. So it shows that you are targeting the PC system. You're using the PC system for the 10 lifts. You know, these athletes are using the PC system for their events, and it's two to three minutes before they recover. Not a problem for him. Because he'll do a heat in the morning and a heat in the afternoon and then a semi in the morning and a final in the afternoon. Bags of time to recover. Valerie Adams, a shot putter, okay, she'll get about 10 minutes recovery in between. She'll have six throws in a competition and she'll get 10 minutes recovery in between each one. So again, it's not a problem for her. 
The problem for the PC system is you games players, where you do a sprint and you're not guaranteed three minutes to recover before you have to do another sprint or you've got to track back or cut across. So that's where your other energy systems come in and that's when you'll then move into your lactic acid system. So now you need to watch the video on the lactic acid energy system.